Hi everyone, Morgan from the Assist Agency. Today we're going to do a quick little video just showcasing a new product feature which came out in September. Um, this product feature is basically all around uh, work schedules and resource allocation and management like within your teams. Um, I think it's a really cool feature and it ties in with the workload widget which was already in an existing widget with monday.com. So I'm going to run you through and kind of show you how you could use it within your teams. Um, you can see we've got a few little extra additions here. We've got uh, Jim Halpert and Michael Scott who've joined the team and they're just joining me in on Project Alpha which is one that we created for our project management video um, and they've just been allocated to a number of um, projects or items in this Project Alpha um, now to begin we just need to update a couple of things within our um, our settings so what we want to start with first is to create a team so we're going to create this team based off this project alpha so if we just go into um, whoever the owner or the um, the Monday I guess admin is so we're going to pop into our teams and we just want to create a new team so we're going to call this the project alpha team and include all of the relevant members now this is a necessary step because the workload function um, assigns schedules based off teams not off individual users so just something to uh, keep note of um, when you do this so let's create that team now we've done that we're just going to close out and we're just going to pop then into administration okay so in general you can see here the beta which is the work schedule and this is the new product feature so let's create a new schedule now let's say that um, the project alpha team only works monday tuesday wednesday on this project now let's say as well in October, perhaps on this week here, we are going to have a team offsite, meaning that we're actually not going to be in the office together working on this project. So we just want to click and drag across uh, the amount of required days. It could be whatever you need and click on your end date. We're going to call this a team offsite and pop it in under other. Now let's also say, for example, that the Tuesday the next week is a public holiday. We're gonna say, just call this PH for public holiday and pop it in as one there. So of course, if, you, if your project was spanning across months or across um, whatever it may be, you can then adjust in um, for all of this. You can have, uh, if someone's got an annual leave day, if someone's taking um, a holiday, if someone's on sick um, leave, you can pop these all in just with annotations so you know what's going on. Um, and also, of course, uh, your regular working schedule if that changes based on teams. So let's pop that in and we'll leave it at there for now. We're going to go to next and this is where um, creating your team first is really important because this is where you assign it. So let's pop that in under the project alpha team and finish that one off. Okay, so now popping out of that we're back, back into project alpha. What I would use in this use case, um, obviously you can use it for a number of different things, but I'm going to create a new blank view here. So this is just like um, a dashboard view. And I'm going to call this uh, team capacity. Now this is where me as the manager can uh, frequently monitor and use this in conjunction with the main table with all of our actual project items um, and track. Uh, you'll see it when I put it in, but we're tracking the team's capacity overall and then also about resource allocation and making sure that we don't have things due when the team's not actually working or if they're not in the office. So let's add in that widget. Now this is just the workload widget. And we're gonna add that in. 
Perfect. So it already populates in um, the team members and you can see here it does it based off this is off a circle view so obviously smaller the dark blue circle in the middle meaning that they haven't yet reached their capacity and of course when the circle goes into that full dark um, blue you can see that they've reached their capacity and of course this is all um, customizable so this pops it in automatically into the monthly view so if we just filter down into days what you'll see here is that we've hit a snag here. So you'll see that um, there it comes up with like a little warning and just to show you that something has been scheduled on a day that this person is not working. Um, and as well here you can see where it comes red is where we've actually got our team offsite. And so you'll see that we've got activities spanning across these days, but the team's actually not going to be there. So this is a really great tool um, for you to go, okay, well, this is obviously not gonna work for us. We need to change things around and make sure that we're allocating our resources to the days that our team is actually working. So a really good feature, I think, for that one. Um, and as I was talking about before with your settings, this is where you can actually um, change the effort and capacity amongst your team. So you can change it to base um, the count here as the number of items that they are assigned to, or it can be based off effort, which is something um, where you can change the kind of system depending on how you best work or how you would assume that a person is at capacity. Um, and of course, as well, you can do the workload as the number of items, or you can change it then to a percentage of um, their capacity. If you go through down further, you can also edit the capacity per person. So let's say, for example, that we want to only allocate five items um, a week for myself. And then maybe even if we just say three and three for the two gentlemen, you'll see here that it's popped red, meaning that these um, guys are then over capacity, um, which then we could delegate out and change and, and move as needed. So um, yeah, and of course, lots of other ways that you can change the set it, um, setting and resource type, um, depending on what you, what you want in here. But I think this is really cool really great new feature and really helps as we said with that resource planning and making sure that you're actually being reasonable um, and accurate in your who you're allocating to and your project deadlines i hope this was helpful thank you so much